guys. Hi, hello, how's it going? Hopefully today finds you well. Today I am doing the next Simply Samples video in which I pull some samples and I come back to you and I review my experiences with said samples. I was doing this every other week. I have been finding that that is just not really working for my balance in my life these days. So it has again been about a month since I pulled these samples. I'm hoping to get back into an every other week kind of mindset, but to be honest, because I was doing it like every other Sunday, I was forgetting all about them. With that said, I am going, I am seriously contemplating just doing a video every Sunday and bringing you something different every other Sunday than what these are on because I feel like that will keep me back on track. So there is seven samples that I pull every single week. Well, every single time that we do this, I do pull three skincare samples, one of them being a sheet mask of some sort because I do have a bunch of sheet masks that I need to kind of filter out of my collection. And then I also pull four makeup samples and that is what I have for you today. I hope that you're in it to hear my thoughts and opinions on said things, figure out whether you should waste your money on them or not, and then we will pull new samples. With that said, hi, for those of you new here, my name is Donna. I am so, so happy to have you here today. I am a lover of all things high-end, colorful beauty and self-care. I love to try new products. I love to bring you all the knowledge that I have. I am kind of a kick in the pants to hang out with most of the time. And I am also 44, so I am a lady of an age that is told you can't, you shouldn't, um, you are far too old for some of the things that I do in my life, wearing color on my eyes, having different colored hair. And I am here to tell you, who cares? Age is just a number. Nobody knows better than you what you want for your life and what soothes your soul. And I hope that you are out there soothing your soul because I'm gonna be in here soothing mine, in here, in this screen that you are watching me on. I'm gonna be here soothing my soul. This soothes my soul. I have a lot of fun with it. I just want to entertain you, bring you all the knowledge, maybe have some chit chat about beauty products. And with that said, I do hope that you'll want to subscribe before you go. I hope that we can walk through this journey together Together, that we can lock arms, be perfect partners in crime, or, you know, bad influences on each other if we need to be, or good influences, who knows what we need in our life, but I hope that we can walk through this journey together, and I would love to welcome you into my YouTube fam here. We're pretty amazing. So with that said, let's review the samples that I have for you. The first thing that I'm actually going to review for you is the sheet mask, and the sheet masks that I pulled for last week were these ones here, or for you know, the last month were these ones here. These are the Pure Lease Green Tea and Ginger Rejuvenating Sheet Masks. And I pulled a big box of them because when I pulled these samples, I was actually heading out to visit my family. And I thought, wouldn't it be fun to do a sheet mask night with me and my sister and my mom and my sister-in-law? And that just kind of never happened. So I did get that box of five sheet masks in an Ipsy, I do believe. You know, my thoughts on these aren't necessarily horrible. These sheets are $6 a piece. They fit my face really well. They are rather large, um, which was nice. I do have a pretty fat melon. I do struggle with sheet masks fitting my face sometimes. These felt really good on my skin. Kind of very cooling, very rejuvenating as they should because they are rejuvenating and detoxifying sheet masks. I think that my skin looked less dry after taking the sheet mask off. And after using the second one, I felt like it lasted a little bit longer than just the first one. My skin is really dry, so they it does like to like soak up all the good juju that is in a sheet mask. Usually the sheet mask is completely dry in the 15 to 20 minutes that it sits on my face. This one wasn't. There was plenty of serum on the sheet mask. There was also plenty of serum in the packet that the sheet mask was in, enough so that I could use it for a couple days afterwards, just spilling some into my hands and putting it on my face. I really did enjoy that. I do like it when sheet masks do have enough serum in them. My sheet mask is not dry prior to taking it off my face and that there's enough left over in the pack that I can reuse it for days. 
my daughter is vacuuming so if you hear the vacuum intermittently that's what it is and I will try and get it out through editing but I do apologize you put them on you leave them on for 15 to 20 minutes the green tea in the sheet mask is for rejuvenating your skin really making your skin feel alive and giving it that like um healthy glow afterwards right and I do feel like these did that the ginger extract in the serum is supposed to help detoxify your skin I don't have skin that is problematic or prone to breakouts easily uh, I I do have sensitive skin but I am only prone to breakouts if I'm like allergic to something not like because something is clogging my pores while I didn't feel like the detoxifying part part of the sheet mask was necessarily something that I could visually see happening with my skin after using this sheet mask I do think that it could be good for somebody to use it who does maybe have problematic skin because I did feel like my skin looked better afterwards like even like the small small portions of my skin where I do have like a large pores around my cheek and on my chin not that they shrunk but they were less visible I guess and I do feel like it did do its due diligence in the two times that I used it over the I used both of them within a week of each other and I get dark spots on my temple on just this side and I have dark spots on my upper lip melasma dark spots I feel like it did due diligence in helping to reduce the visible appearance of those dark spots in that one week but as soon as you stop using them it comes back so that was something that the ginger was supposed to help was detoxifying the skin and reducing dark spots. I did feel like it did that. I don't know about detoxifying. Good mask. I would purchase more. I do have several more in this box to use. The next thing I have is this and this is the Clarins Double Serum. This is a box that I received from Influencer and you can see I did use all of them up. I thought I had saved one of the little packets in here, but I didn't apparently. They just come in packs, just little cards, right? And each one of the serums is in that card and then you, you fold the card and it has both serums in that card and then you mix them together on your hand. This serum is $90 for one ounce of product. There are three different sizes. What I would say is it does have a 4.6 star rating at Ulta Beauty and it was quite nice. It didn't treat my skin badly. I didn't have a breakout afterwards. I do feel like maybe there was a consistency that came about my complexion that I noticed while using this product. But I also don't think that there was anything about it that wowed me enough to say it's worth the $90 that you're going to spend on the one ounce of product. Uh, there are 21 plant extracts said to help visibly and effectively target wrinkles and radiance in your skin. I do think I saw that radiance factor come into play. Like I said, it did help with the overall consistency of my complexion and I think a lot of that stemmed from the radiance factor, right? However, I didn't notice any kind of anything happening with the fine lines that I have around my eyes. I also didn't notice anything with the wrinkles that I have in my forehead right here, the real deep seated leavens that I have for my scowl lines. Um, I did notice that my face seemed clear, like I said, and I did notice that it seemed more nourished. And I did notice that it seemed more hydrated. It looked healthier, but I don't think that you have to spend $90 to get that from a skincare item. I honestly, I have other skincare items in my collection that are just as good and give me the same effects. And I didn't spend $90 on them. When I think through the lens of which brands I can specifically point out, Pharmacy has amazing skincare products Kiehl's has amazing skincare products even Dermalogica has some products that are amazing that fall underneath that price point so it doesn't take uh any amount of this product to make sure to get it all over your face I do again have a really large head so sometimes I'm like you know pumping 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 because I think I need four or five squirts of something 
to fit my entire face. I am glad that this came in the cards that it did. So it really showed the appropriate amount of product that should go on my face and like legit, it was the tiniest little puddle in the palm of my hand. As a matter of fact, when I saw the amount that came out of each one of the packets in here, I was like, are you kidding? This is not, I'm gonna have to use two packets. I didn't, I didn't have to use two packets. And I think if you wanna spend your $90 on it, you'll, you'll see results in a way that it will be pleasing to you. But I also don't think that you need to spend $90 to get the results I got from seven days of use. The next thing is this, and this is the Drunk Elephant C Tango Multivitamin Eye Cream. This is what this guy looks like. Really pretty packaging. Uh, Drunk Elephant always has really pretty packaging. I love the orange on the cap of this guy. This is $64 for 0.5 ounces of product and it has a 3.8 star rating at Sephora. When I leaned in and read through the reviews of this, after formulating my own opinion of it, I am going to preach to you the same things that it said. I, I didn't feel like it did anything to cause a reaction in my eyes. I didn't get milia, which is something that some people did put into the comment section in there, um, that it caused pilling and they got milia from it. What I find is that people maybe are using a little bit too much. Like literally this pumps out just the tiniest bit and that is truly all you need. Just put, you know, your fingers together, get enough on each finger, tap, tap, tap it into your under eye. That is all you need. I didn't see any kind of milia bumps or pilling from using it with my makeup application, but I did find that I liked using it better at night because it did leave my, it didn't absorb into my under eyes as quickly as some eye creams do. It's supposed to target fine lines, wrinkles, dryness, and firmness on your under eye. It is vegan and cruelty free and formulated with eight peptides, five vitamin C's, and cucumber. I didn't notice anything. I didn't notice any kind of anything from using this eye cream. And I used it every single day since I brought it into the Simply Sample series because I use an eye cream every night. So it wasn't hard for me to remember to use that. I didn't see any difference. Like there, I still have fine lines and wrinkles around my eyes. My dark circles are still there. As a matter of fact, they're out and proud today. So I, I didn't see any firmness happening. I didn't see any cooling sensation from it. I didn't see anything happen with the dryness on my under eyes. As a matter of fact, typically my under eyes will soak a product up because they are so dry. This one just kind of sat on top and created like this oily barrier. And like I said, it didn't give me milia. I didn't see any kind of pilling from it when I put makeup over the top of it, but I also didn't see it do anything for my under eyes. So would I spend $64 on the full size price of this? No. I love the avocado eye cream from Kiehl's. It's amazing. It goes on really super thick and then turns into like almost water as you're putting it on your under eye. And that's like 30 bucks. So I would spend that before I'd spend twice that for this little tiny guy that didn't do anything for me. And granted the full size isn't this little tiny guy, but it's still 0.5 ounces is not much people. All right, so then we dig in to the makeup avenues of everything. And for whatever reason, a mini had gotten into my samples, but I was just like, whatever, we're gonna wing it. We're gonna go with it. This is the Stila Glitter and Glow, and this is in Tulip Twinkle. I think that you guys can see it is a beautiful shade of pink. It would go perfect on my eye look today, honestly. It truly is beautiful. I love this shade. I'm super happy to have it in my collection. I have on here that it is $24 for 0.15 ounces of this. The full size looks quite a bit bigger than this does, but this is an, a warm toned, almost peachy pink. Look at the reflect on that. It is stunning. I love Stila Glitter and Glows. It's like a medium dark peachy pink. It is so, so, so pretty. Um, it's kind of sheer on first application as are most of the Stila Glitter and Glows. If you let it dry down entirely, 
it has to dry down entirely and you put another layer on top of it, it is more opaque. You're going to get more of the opacity that you might want if you're putting it all over a lid without a color underneath of it. But you have to let the first layer dry completely. And sometimes if you open your eye prior to that first layer drying completely, it will crease. So you have to sit there with your eye closed and wait for it to dry before you open or you're going to see cracking and creasing and texture on your eye that you don't normally like. I love Steely Glitter and Glows. I hate that you have to sit there with your eyes shut for the however long it takes for it to dry or you will see cracking and creasing. I also hate that these dry out so dang fast. I also hate that even with a glitter glue, you get glitter all over your face all throughout the day. I hate saying this. I just think that there are better options. They are beautiful, they are impactful, and you are going to get some pretty amazing comments on them, but I just think there are better glitters out there to use on your eyes. This is 4.8 stars at Stila with 102 reviews. This did last on my eye with a glitter glue for about 10 hours. I did sit that day with my eyes closed for a good five minutes, making sure that they dried completely so that I didn't see any creasing or cracking on my eyelids. I do like Stila. I have several of them. I just don't know that they're worth it. The next one is this. This is the Bare Minerals. This is one of the Mineralist Hydra Smoothing Lipsticks, and this is in the shade Honesty. It is what is on my lips today. I don't mind it. I don't mind the color of it either. So that is the color of it in its full opacity. I just feel like it is maybe a little bit more sheer uh, upon first application than I was anticipating. I really thought it was going to be a lipstick. Um, these are $20 and they come in at 4.5 stars um, on the Bare Minerals website with 2,191 reviews on these guys. There are quite a few of those reviews that are one star reviews. This states that after one week of use that you're going to have the improved look of the lip lines, the texture and the dryness on your lips. I didn't use it for a solid week in and of itself. So I can't tell you that that is a true statement. Uh, what I can tell you is that when I wear it, I do notice an improved appearance to the texture of my lips. They look more plump, they look less less dry, they look very line or lineless, lineless. I also feel like it's pretty. I don't feel like it's a lipstick in the true lipstick sense because it is a little more sheer on upon first application. You do have to build it up. So I, I wouldn't say that it's like lipstick. I also don't think that this is as long lasting as they claimed it was because I do find that I have to reapply it often. Looking at my lips right now, I can tell you it needs reapplied just because I know that you can't see it, but it is very, um, it looks like it's wearing away along the insides of my lip line, right? So it does look like it needs to be reapplied and I did find that I had to reapply this often. Like so often that it wasn't worth it to me anymore because I, I'm not a reapplier. I will put lipstick on and walk out the door. I might reapply balm. I might reapply lip gloss. I'm not going to reapply a lipstick. This smeared so, so easily. And I think a lot of the reason why is because it is such a sheer formula. This line, I just ran my fingers over the top of it and it went everywhere. I would also like to say that when it does start wearing away, it wears away in a very nice way. Like, you know, some lipsticks or glosses or whatever are so white based or so based in other things that they leave like that nasty crustiness on the inside of your lips. This one doesn't do that. Like I can look at my lips right now and they look fine. I just know that my lipstick needs reapplied at this point. I wouldn't spend the $20 on the full size version of this. I think that Bare Minerals does some really great things. I don't think this lipstick is one of them. The next thing I have on here is this and it is the Tarte Big Ego Mascara. This is $23 and comes in at 3.3 stars on the Ulta Beauty website with 497 reviews. This has an hourglass bristle wand and it is a fiber wand, which isn't my favorite. I'm just going to start off there. These are not my favorite kind of wands, not my favorite kind of bristles. I do like um, kind of a pokey, uh, almost Christmas tree thought process when you're looking at the wand and rubber 
bristle brush. Those are my favorite kinds of mascaras. This one, I really liked upon first application. And as a matter of fact, there is a get ready with me video that I used this in that I was like, wow, look at my lashes. About two hours in, that mascara was all over my under eyes. It was flaking everywhere. It was maybe a little bit more dry than I wanted it to be, but then also was all over my under eyes. So I would say maybe it was too wet. It feels dry, but it, it gets everywhere. So I'm not sure then what the cause is. It's cruelty free and supposedly lasts 16 hours. I, I, I am not a huge fan of Tarte mascaras if I'm honest. This Big Ego one pales in comparison to all the other Tarte mascaras that I've tried. I felt like I saw smudging almost immediately. I saw flakiness by the four hour mark and it irritated my eyes. At the six hour mark, I was ready to take everything off of my eyes because I just wanted to claw my eyeballs out because they itched so dang bad. And since not using this mascara, I realized that this mascara is the problem. I loved how my lashes looked with it on. I thought that it gave great volume. I also thought that it great gave great length, but I hated how my eyes felt with this on. And then last but not least, we do have the Maracuja Tinted um, Hydrator by Tarte. I do think that this was a really great shade for me. This comes in at $29 and has 3.9 stars at Ulta with 160 reviews. There are 20 shades, which aren't amazing shades. Like there's like, I think three deep shades and the rest are right in that light to medium kind of mindset that we see Tarte do quite often. But this is a tinted hydrator. So it, there should be a lot of give with that, with that range, right? You should be able to fit a lot of different like skin tones within that range. What I can tell you is even as a very light skinned person, I would hesitate to believe that I couldn't wear one of those deep shades and have it work for me because this does absolutely not. There's zero coverage with this guy. And I'm used to like Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue and um, like Smashbox Halo and Fenty Eavesdrops. I'm used to there being some coverage in my, in my skin tints, my tinted hydrators, my whatevers. I didn't see any cut. This didn't even do anything to make my skin look like consistent ac across the board. It's, it's invisible. <laughs> the notes I have is it is invisible. <laughs> so there's that. I really do feel like it's, it's not got any coverage to it. I mean, it's got a good consistency for a tinted hydrator. I think it's, you know, rather liquidy. It feels, you know, good on the face but then as you're rubbing it in like there's just no it is what it is i mean it claims to be a hydrator not a skin tint so and then on my hand i mean i feel like you can see that even this like pink spot that was there prior to me putting that all over my hand is still there you can still see it it's legitimately the most invisible skin tint i've ever used in my life it hydrates really well. I do feel like it was, it was great as a moisturizer. It was great as a, maybe even a primer, dare I say, but <laughs> you can see it on the towel as you're washing off your face. So, you know, it's there, but it's like legitimately not there. It doesn't do anything to help you. Um, and with that said, I also feel like it reacted with my sunscreen in a way that kind of made my face burn. Um, the one time I wore it without sunscreen on it was fine and my face felt really good that was i think the first day i wore it the second day i wore it i had a sunscreen on this sunscreen this shiseido sunscreen and it burned like my whole face burned this doesn't burn my face and this didn't burn my face but together my face was burning so i tried a different sunscreen I can't find it. I don't know what I did with it. I tried a different sunscreen with it and it burnt my face. And so I think it reacts with sunscreen not super well. And this doesn't have any SPF in it. So you absolutely have to wear sunscreen with it. 
and it does nothing with your face to help with consistency and when you wear sunscreen with it it reacts at least on my skin it reacts and granted I have sensitive skin so I'm gonna I'm gonna put that out there so that you guys know it I I didn't like it so $29 no ma'am I won't purchase this in a full size and I know that there are a lot of youtubers out there that absolutely love that that tinted moisturizer I don't it's a lotion it's a brown lotion it's got a little bit of color to it that you can see when you wash it off your face but you can't see it while it's on your face all right these are my sample bins and there's only these two drawers now so in one drawer we have makeup and then the other we have skin i do pull four from this drawer two from this drawer and then we also pull in a sheet mask for that third piece of the skincare i am going to open this and we are going to find all right, we have the Benefit Love Tint, um, something for your cheeks or for your lips by Benefit, little tiny like tint for your cheeks and your lips. All right, this is a lipstick by Finding Ferdinand. That's actually kind of a really pretty like burgundy color. All right, we have Becca Ignite, which is a highlighter it's a body highlighter and this is in the shade passion all right we have a kiehl's lip balm i've actually never tried a kiehl's lip balm before so i'm actually kind of excited about that this is by feel this is an enzymatic exfoliating cleanser All right, and then we have a little Glam Glow's Bright Eyes. So this is a eye cream by Glam Glow. I have never tried this before, so I'm excited to try it, but this is the Benefit Love Tint. This is a the Fiery Red Tinted Lip and Cheek Stain. So it'll be interesting. It is red. I don't typically do red, so we will see. We will see how that goes. I also have a lipstick by Finding Ferdinand. This is not a brand that I've ever tried before, so I'm actually excited about it. This is the color of that. It is. It matches my hair. It's really pretty. I mean, I think it's really pretty. And it has this little tiny emblem on the top of the lipstick that I think is just... I mean, it's the details, right? It's the tiniest details. Then I have a lip balm, which is by Kiehl's. I've never tried the Kiehl's lip balm before. I literally pulled this out and thought, how did a skincare sample get in here? But it's a lip balm, so I'm, I'm super excited for a lip balm. So I have a lip tint, <laughs> a lipstick, and a lip balm. Crazy sauce. And then I also have a liquid highlighter by Becca. This is the Becca Ignite. Then for skincare, I did get the Feel enzymatic exfoliating cleanser which I'm excited about because I don't have an exfoliator in my shower currently and I like to exfoliate once a week but I just finished my last exfoliator or the one that I had currently in my shower and then I also have this glam glow bright eyes the mask I got is very interesting I can't even tell you where I got this this is a Meg Rhythm Gentle Steam Eye Mask, and it looks like a maxi pad on her face. So, this is for eyes. It says, soothe hardworking eyes, relaxes eyes, and you. Helps promote relaxation after a long, hard day. I think I might use this tonight. I've got a little bit of a headache going on. I think a lot of it is coming from my eyeballs. I think because I'm just exhausted. Also... Like my wonky eye is coming out and proud today. So I think I might try this tonight. I do have two of them. If I love it, I'll try another one. I'm a little worried about the fact that it's lavender. I tend to have like a little bit of an allergic reaction to lavender sometimes. So I'm a little worried about that. But I think that because it's in this weird eye mask that it should be okay. I'm a little stumped. Let me know if you guys have tried this before. I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. That is all I have for you today. I hope that you guys enjoyed the sample series. If you guys are loving this, please give it a big thumbs up. It really does help our channels out here. I do hope that you want to subscribe to my channel before checking off the video today. 
If you do that, please don't forget to hit that notification bell. It will make sure that you don't miss anything. I do hope 2021 is treating y'all kindly. I do hope August is treating y'all kindly. I hope that you and yours are getting along in this world that we're living in today, that you're safe, that you're well, and that you're doing the best that you can out there. I also hope that you are loving each other, but loving each other from afar. And until next time, bye friends. Bye.